So once you open up Video Maker FX, you're going to be ready to create some amazing, awesome videos. And it's going to be really easy to do. So to start out, all we have to do is follow the arrow here and create a project. And then we have to give it a project name. So I'm just going to type in Udemy and I'm going to create the project. And over here, they've got some really good guidance as well within the software. So it's going to be really helpful to kind of get started with this. And what you first have to do is add a slide to get started. So that's what we're going to do. And that opens up the slide pop-up window. And within the slide pop-up window, you've got a whole bunch of options here. Uh, so when you do make that selection, you see the preview here on the right hand side. And then as well, you've got a little bit of a description here that tells you what kind of text and what's going to be required for this particular slide. So you can go down and you can select out whatever slide it is that you're looking to create. So we're going to start out with just this um, this slide here. And what you see here in the bottom right hand corner, you're able to add all slides. So that will add in all the three slides from this pack. And depending on the number of slides available in the pack, it will add in different amounts of slides. So you can either select one of the slides from the pack or you can select multiple slides from the pack. So I'm just going to add in this slide and as you can see here it pops up within my preview area now and I have also this isn't grayed out anymore here on the right hand side. So we've got an option to select out our text area. So depending on the number of text areas, so this one is a fairly simple slide and it's got this 3D effect and you can always pause it uh, if you if you want to pause it and work with it and then uh, run it again, hit play again. Uh, when you want to see the full effect taking place. So here we've got our first text area and here you can enter in different text for the text area as well as you can enter in a different default font. So these are all a bunch of fonts that are available within and you see that once the font gets changed it also changes within the preview area and then of course you can change the font size and select from any number of these really cool fonts that they have available. And then you're also able to do text alignment here, so text center, text right, and you've also got the vertical alignment, center, bottom, and you also have this for text effect. So this gives a little bit extra, so you saw it when I did that blurred shadow, it dropped in that shadow around it, and this is pretty good so you can you can see your text and it stands out a little bit from the background and of course we wouldn't want to be having uh, white with the same background effect so you got to change the color of your text if you're going to use any one of these white shadows and if you're using a black shadow of course uh, change it over to a lighter font. Also you can check off this movement enable and that gives you to reposition where the font is and where this preview area is going to show up so as I move it up or down and you see that I'm not able to uh, that vertical align gets grayed out when you check that off and that's because these are some default positioning so top center and bottom but if I want to really position in a particular location I can do this movement enable and I can move the font up and down um, also left and right as needed so usually I prefer to just do like the default ones because it's a lot easier than having to maneuver font but again if it's a requirement for what you're doing uh, then you can always move your font around or your preview text area around as needed here on the right hand side. 